Well, they say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, but they clearly haven't met the man you're about to. He's got a bag of tricks that could give Glenn Close and Fatal Attraction a run for her money. Authorities say he had his own weapons, an iPhone, the Internet, and a sex tape his ex-girlfriend had no idea existed. Tonight, how authorities say he tracked his ex-girlfriend and trashed her reputation keystroke by keystroke. And it all started with some pleasant chit-chat at 35,000 feet. It all started with what seemed to be a fairy tale flight. For a young mother who thought she was lucky to meet the charming man seated right next to her. You met him on a flight? I met him on a flight from Boston to Washington, D.C. You hear about people meeting on planes all the time. It's fun, you know. So fun, it seemed an unexpected romance was about to take off, too. He seemed like a really nice person. You talked the whole time? Yeah, yeah. And when the flight landed, Sarita Hicks says the gentleman beside her, Bruce Diamond, asked for her number. And I was like, well, okay, why not? Why not? He told her he was in the D.C. area often on business, and it wasn't long before their first date. In fact, they would go out three times before she would even reveal where she lived. And when she did... He sent you flowers. Yeah, he wanted, that, that was the reason why he wanted my address. He wanted to send me flowers. Every day was something. He wasn't just showering her with gifts. This was a downpour. Chocolate, shoes, lingerie. I will get home and it will be in front of my door. But it was the next gift that would come with strings attached. But those strings were invisible. He gave me an iPhone as a gift. The iPhone is where everything started in. Because authorities believe that iPhone would become Bruce Diamond's most powerful tool to track her. He made sure the GPS, that built-in locator, was turned on. So he knew where you were at every moment? Yeah. And of course, I didn't know he was doing that. Not only was he tracking her, he was studying her, downloading all of her numbers, her friends, her family. He was watching who she was texting, who she was messaging on Facebook. And she says when she told him things were moving too fast, his next move turned dark. So he took all of the contacts uh, in yes, the phone? in the phone. And began sending them messages? Messages, yeah. He started sending messages to all my friends saying that I had STDs. And that was just his first message. Authorities say the next one would link all of her friends to a website where he had listed Sarita as an escort. How did you feel at that moment? I think it's, it's the worst thing that woman can ever go through. I never even went to this, those sites. I didn't even know they existed. Sarita is convinced it was her text messages to male friends that set him off. It was jealousy, I think. Was any of it romantic? No, no. But he thought it was? Yes. And when she wouldn't take him back? He's like, you and everybody will know you as a prostitute, and I'll make sure that your family, your friends, your co-worker, everybody know. I'll make sure that they know. That was and the threat. That, that, that was the threat. And authorities say he delivered on that threat, posting more profiles of her online. With my office number. And he put in there that I provide service from my branch, because it was a bank. So you had men so, calling you at the bank? At, at the bank, uh -huh. yes. They wanted me to have sex with them. She lost her job and lost her identity too, because when she went online herself, she discovered who she'd become in everyone else's eyes. I thought it was the end of my world. I thought that, that everything I worked for it was gone. Authorities say he would find other ways to terrorize her too. Cancel my water, he canceled my heat, he canceled my electricity. Why was he doing this? He wanted me to call him and say, help me. Instead, she was pleading help me to police. Just as authorities say, Bruce Diamond was about to deliver his biggest blow yet posting a sex tape she had no idea even existed. He secretly recorded the two of you having sex? Yes, mm -hmm. and I don't even know how he took that video. I was like, how dirty can you be? You're sending this to, to my family, to my daughter, to my kids, to, to my kids' friends. I couldn't believe it, but I was leaving it. 
and her daughter was about to be living it too, because authorities say not only was Sarida's name and number listed, he would soon list her daughter's name too. At that moment, I wanted to kill him. At all hours of the day and night, strangers now showing up at their front door. Your daughter would be home mm -hmm. yeah. when these men would show up at the house. Yes, soliciting sex, correct. My mom didn't want me to know. Sarita's teenage daughter, Pam, was about to learn what her mother had been trying to protect her from. While getting ready for school in the morning, men, perfect strangers, showing up. It's like seven something or six and I'm getting ready and I'm like, mom, someone's knocking at the door. And my mom's like, do, never, do not ever answer the door anymore. I don't want you looking through the hole or anything. And just like her mother, Pam's list of friends would not be safe either. He started texting your friends, pretending he was your mother. Yes, he did. That's what he did. And everyone at school started to hear. Yeah, everyone thought my mom was a porn star. I think that was the tipping point. Arlington County Detective Angela Comer was the lead investigator. That's when we knew he was willing to go to great lengths to continue to terrorize his family. He came to my apartment with a knife and slashed all my tires. She filed for restraining orders and got them. They actually thought that he was going to kill me. We were convinced she was in danger, that he just wouldn't stop. And one evening this past November, just after nightfall, authorities say instead of flying to D.C., Bruce Steinman drove this time all the way from his small town New Hampshire home to Sarita's apartment. I was just getting in my door. He was waiting in the parking lot. He began slashing her tires. This time, police were waiting. He was caught in the act, and he was arrested that night. Arrested, Bruce Diamond would plead guilty to identity theft, extortion, and stalking.